Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Working on the brand new 2020 Hyundai Palisades gives me an excellent chance to talk about clear coat on newer vehicles. And I'm going to try and cover as many clear coat types as I can in these mini series. They're getting thinner, they're getting softer. Going through the EPA standards of California and water based clears, they're definitely getting butter soft. And I can sort of discuss and explain to you how to care for them properly. The brand new Hyundai Palisades, very intriguing inside and out. Very popular in my area right now. And so is the 291 horsepower 3.8 liter V6 H-Track all wheel drive, 20 inch alloy wheels, comes in the SE and the SE models. Also attractive is the auto leveling rear suspension, the LED taillights, front parking sensors, hands-free smart lift gate, and the 7-inch resolution center and cluster display, among many, many other things that are really cool about this vehicle. Along with this attractive interior, including the blonde wood trim and also perforated leather seats, is also the 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. We're going to be protecting this vehicle bumper-to-bumper, -bumper, inside and out. So in the mini series that's going to start with this video, we're going to start with the exterior and the paint and the clear coat, which needs to be addressed. Speaking of the paint, let's get to it. The vehicle only has a few hundred miles and a couple miles to bring the vehicle to me. And already we have some imperfections to work on. Uh, and some of those imperfections just come from transportation of the vehicle to the lot and sitting on the lot. I've never gotten a new vehicle where I didn't have to do at least a polish. We don't want to get too much more aggressive on a brand new car. Uh, the clear coat on these vehicles, they're getting thinner and thinner as the years go on, and the manufacturers cut back on materials, including primer base coat and the clear coat. One of the very first things I'll do when a new vehicle pulls into the shop for protection is get paint depth readings and also gloss meter readings all the way around the car. Even on brand new vehicles, we are able to achieve a 10 to 25% increase in gloss, and that's without removing any measurable clear coat at all. And that's exactly what I will be showing you in this short series. Now, something that is striking to see as we walk around and take measurements on the car, this is giving us measurements of primer base coat and clear coat. Uh, a few years ago, if I would have walked around a vehicle, we would get readings between 4.8 and 5.8 mils of all three layers. And now you could see just how much the manufacturers are cutting back on the materials they're laying down. I want you to keep in mind that clear coat manufacturers recommend two mils of clear coat, the thickness of the clear coat, with all the UVA, UVB, uh, IR inhibitors and blocks that are within to protect the base coat. We're really almost removing too much clear coat before we even lay a pad to the surface. So we're going to be careful from now on. We really did change the way we uh, approached our corrections within the last three to five years, and we're tweaking it yet again uh, within these new vehicles. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to walk around with an IPA solution, douse each panel, and remove any protection that might have been intentionally or accidentally laid down um, either by the dealer or the owner that could get caught up in the pads and so we're, since we're using a very fine pad and polish that's very important okay next it's all about the details here at the shop so we're removing the stickers and the dots on the sidewalls and the wheels and if you've ever wondered what they are for well, manufacturers, it's impossible for them to make a perfectly round, perfectly balanced tire and wheel. So this helps them with um, inconsistencies within the wheels and the tires. When it comes to mounting and balancing the wheels, it helps the technician and guides them.
Both are a quick fix. Citral 266 for the adhesive, for the stickers, and then for the ink. Uh, normally blue or red, we'll just use mineral spirits. Okay, moving right along. Now we're going to do something called spot correcting, and that's where we just walk around the car with our correction light, and we pick up areas that need to be spot corrected, and that's only where and if it's needed. Some deeper scuffs and scratches, maybe some etching, maybe some discoloration. There's many ways you can go about that process, chemically, mechanically. Uh, if you can chemically remove it, that's best. If not, you have to do it mechanically. That's normally either by a polisher or maybe even some color sanding. And I'll just use a 2-inch or a 3-inch polisher to do the spot correcting because we're only working in small concentrated areas. On the mirror here, unlike the front bumper, the chemical... Uh, spot correction only goes so far and I have to bump up aggression just a little bit and do some polishing. On the fender here, we have to go yet a, another step further. A chemical process will not take care of this. Polishing uh, will not do it either. A deeper scratch, color sanding helps. And if it can't remove it completely, it will at least hide it where you have to be at the perfect angle with the perfect light source to see it and pick it up. This little scratch is no match for 2500 grit and 3000 grit wet sand, either discs or sheets. Polish out from there. With the little tiny imperfections removed all the way around the vehicle from top to bottom, we're going to find the combination that we can bring out the most clarity and gloss on this finish without removing any measurable clear coat. So we're going to mask and tape off an area, and we're going to test the combination to see if it works. This clear is very soft and very thin, so we're going to try to find the least aggressive combination as we possibly can, and that uh, goes for the pad, the correction cream, and the polisher. So the combination I want to go with right out of the gate is the Ultra Fine Pad from Roops and also the M302 from Koch Chemi. That is their micro cut or finishing cut without protection.
This combination has removed some very fine imperfections, has brought out clarity and reflection, and it hasn't removed hardly any measurable clear coat. This is what we'll go with. Just to be completely sure, I'm going to finish one side of the hood. That works for me well on the way to triple digits on the gloss meter, and that's what we're always shooting for when it comes to the end result here at the shop. Okay, now that we have the combination picked out, we can go around and protect the vehicle when it comes to the correction process. The textured plastic, that's going to need to be protected. Even if you've been doing this for quite some time, it's always a good habit. The textured plastic, you bump up against that with either a wool pad or a foam pad, there's risk for damage. And with the newer plastic trim getting thinner and softer and uh, just a lot less quality in the material, it's a good idea. We favor 3M precision masking tape here. It has like a lime green color. It's a low profile tape. The adhesive is perfect. It will not lift and transfer adhesive from the tape to your polishing pad. And also low enough that your pad can glide right over it. So let's get the correction process going. We have the Koch Kemi M302. That is a microcut finishing polish. The Ultrafine Rupees DA foam pad and whatever polisher you choose to use. It really didn't take us long at all to get around this rather sizable SUV with a third row seat with the combination that we picked out and looks absolutely fantastic. The orange peel texture to this clear is rather aggressive, so sometimes you have to get a little creative when putting together a combination of correction fluids and protection to bring out the most gloss and reflection. And I think we've done a good job so far. Um, that's going to do it for the first video here in a short series. Uh, come back and join us again in the second video where we finish the prep and protect this Palisades and send it on its way. Brian from Apex Detail, I'll catch you in the next video.